my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Stav and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. Today I'm really excited to be doing a springtime concealed carry video. I'm going to show you a bunch of different outfits and how I would carry in them for spring. Even though it's actually 20 degrees here in Massachusetts today, which is crazy because it's almost April. And speaking of April, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a promotion for the entire month of April, I'm gonna be doing a springtime sale for my online course, The Armed and Confident Academy, that you do on your own time, in your own home, on your laptop, your phone, your tablet, whatever device you have. I just wanted to say real quick, I'm gonna stick this clip in there. My sale is gonna be from today, from when I'm posting this video, until the very end of April. So from the time I'm posting this video until the end of April, that code will be usable and live so you can get $100 off my course. So I'm gonna include the link to the course below so you can view the entire curriculum. Make sure you hit the little down arrow that's underneath the curriculum section so that it opens up the whole curriculum and you can see all nine sections of the course. You can see every single topic we cover and see if it might be right for you or for a friend. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a coupon code to get $100 off the price of a course. So it's gonna go from $4.97 to $3.97 for the whole month of April if you use the code SPRING22. I'm gonna put it right here so that you guys can see it. Use the code SPRING22 at checkout and you'll get $100 off the course and that code is gonna expire on May 1st at midnight. So when it turns into May, that code's not gonna work anymore. The whole focus of the course is to get you comfortable to make a gun a part of your daily life and hopefully get you comfortable carrying. So if you're kind of on the fence or you're a little uncomfortable or intimidated, maybe you have a gun but you're not carrying it yet, definitely check out my course and um, take advantage of that springtime sale. I love April, my birthday's in April. I'm gonna be turning 34 this year. I know, I can't believe it either. Um, we have a ton of April birthdays. We've got Easter in April, which is one of my absolute favorite holidays and times to celebrate with my family. So I just love April. The flowers are blooming. Where is it? Over here. Uh, it's getting warm in some places, not so much here, but in some places. So I'm gonna give you guys some outfit ideas today for springtime. I have one for summertime that I did a couple years ago. I don't remember if I've done a winter concealed carry, but this is gonna be a springtime concealed carry. And before we get started, I just wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be concealing. This is my carry gun. It's a Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. It's empty. The magazine is empty. So this is how I carry it with a 10 round flush magazine. This is the size gun that I carry just so that you guys have a reference point. I'm also five foot two, 110 pounds. So you have an idea of the size of the gun versus the size of my body. I was having a conversation with a gentleman the other day who was telling me that he can't understand how someone who's petite like me can carry a gun, especially a gun that's this size. And I've been doing this for so long that I was like, mm, I do it all the time. But I get it, it's not normal. I mean, it, it's not common or something that people are usually exposed to, which is why I'm out here doing this. I also sometimes carry the Ruger LCP Max, which I was gonna use in one of the outfits I'm gonna show you, but Mac is actually carrying it right now, so I can't use that. But I also have the Glock 42 here, which is a 380, and just for size comparison, because I'm gonna use this in one of the outfits I show you, so I just want you to know what the sizes are like. So there's my shield behind the Glock 42. It's um, a little bit bigger, but not crazy. So these are the two guns I'm gonna be showing you, mostly the shield, because that's what I carry 99% of the time. So let's get started with my first outfit, which is Probably my favorite one because I recently bought this skirt and it's such a grandma pattern that I kind of fell in love with it. All right, here's our first outfit. How grandma is this skirt? No offense to you grandmas. I think that it's amazing that my yaya could wear like an entire dress in this pattern and still look amazing. Um, so I found this at TJ Maxx, Marshalls? I don't know, either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And it's got lemons on it. I think it's so cute for spring. And I decided to pair it with this white t-shirt that I got from Target. I like that this t-shirt has this like tie in the back, if you guys can see that. It's a little open, crosses over, and then it ties in the back. Um, and then these kind of hang off. You can tie them into a bow if you want, but I just let them hang. Um, you could also do like a white bodysuit or something like that. 
Okay, so I think that this outfit would be really cute for like a barbecue or for church or something. It's very comfortable. And one thing I really liked about this skirt, and I actually bought it with this video in mind, is that I can carry on the inside or the outside of my thigh. Here's my thigh holster. This is by Can Can Concealment, and this is my favorite way to carry in a skirt or dress. So I'll show you how this works in a second, but it has silicone strips on the top and the bottom. So it really helps it to stick to your skin. And you just have to figure out how tight you want it. I have it on the tightest one, and that just allows it to stay on my leg without sliding down and I don't have to wear a garter belt. They make garter belts for these. I just don't feel like I need one because this sticks to me so well. I've had this for probably like five years, the same one. And the only thing that happened in those five years is that it had a ribbon here and that kind of came off. But that's okay, that was just decorative. I could easily put one in again. But this has three pockets, so gun pocket, extra smaller pocket, and then another gun pocket. So I'll show you how this works on both the inside and outside of my legs since the skirt puffs out and I can wear it either way. All right, so because I have a puffy skirt on and I can conceal on my right leg, I'm just gonna throw this on real quick. Okay, now it's gonna go up. All right, it's gonna sit right there. And the gun is gonna go in this pocket. So here's my shield. This is the gun I usually carry in this holster. And this has a tab you can pull on to put the gun in safely. So the gun's just gonna sit in there like that, right on the side of my leg. I just put my skirt over it. And like I said, the skirt is nice and puffy, which I like. It also has a second layer underneath, I think. Yeah, so it's two layers, this one and then this one. So it's nice and puffy, so I can carry it on the outside of my leg, and no one would ever know that I have a gun there. So this is kind of a longer skirt. So the draw, you're gonna have to pick up your skirt and draw your gun out like that. So definitely practice that. I always make this joke in um, Max Concealed Carry class that we teach together when we teach about holsters, that with this style holster, you can like flash the bad guy, buy yourself a few seconds and draw the gun. But honestly, this is such a great way to carry. It's so comfortable. All right, I'm sitting down in my chair right now and you can see some of you asked me like how comfortable is this when you're sitting. If it's on the outside of your leg, it does not get in the way of you crossing your leg, but even on the inside, it doesn't. Another thing that's nice about this is that if I was sitting in a car, I have my seatbelt here, so if I had a gun on my waist, it's a little more difficult to get to. But if your gun is on your leg, you can just draw it out the side like that if you needed to in your car. So that's just how that sits in there. Look how well this conceals, especially because this has a pattern and it's puffier and there's two layers. So when I go shopping, I definitely look for things that will help with concealment. I get comments all the time from some of you about this holster saying, I have bigger legs than you, I have a different body, I can't really carry that on, my, on the inside of my thigh. And that's when I would say that try it on the outside. If you have skirts or dresses that puff out like this, you could definitely carry on the outside and still carry effectively and get to your gun. Let's switch it up and I'm gonna put it on the inside of my other thigh in case I was wearing something tighter or you just like to carry that way. I've got it on the inside of my left leg now. So now I'm gonna put the gun in. So now the gun is on the inside of my left leg. Yes, I have a bit of a space here. Some of you might not, so this might not work for you. But these you can move around and play around with them. Find the spot that's comfortable. If you can't carry on the inside of your thigh, carry on the outside of your other thigh and that should work just fine. Now if my skirt was tighter, if I was wearing like a pencil skirt or something, I could carry this way. Now if you need to get to it from here, draw from the middle. That's a pretty fast draw with practice. Another thing I really like about this thigh holster is that other than just my gun, I can also carry an extra magazine. And my extra magazine has a Neomag on it, which is a magnetic clip that just allows it to stay in place in a pocket or something like that. So I like to use the Neomag in my thigh holster, my belly bands, and my corset holster just to keep it in place. I like to carry my extra magazine in there, as well as a pepper spray or a knife if you want. You can just stick the pepper spray in there. This is my palm pepper spray with a clip, one of my favorites. I have affiliate codes for some of these products. I'll make sure to link them below so that you guys can get a discount if you want to purchase any of these things. But I just love my palm pepper spray. So that's gonna go in that pocket. So I'm carrying a gun, a pepper spray, and an extra magazine on my leg. 
and it's pretty comfortable and conceals really well. So that's my first outfit. Let's go to the next one. Let me just say this candle I'm burning in here. This is the first time I'm burning it. it smells so good. It's called Zest and it just smells like lemon freshness. It smells so good. I got it at Target if you guys are curious. Speaking of Target, <laughs> this bodysuit's from Target, but I love wearing bodysuits and I'm just wearing it with these mom jeans that I got from, I think these are from American Eagle. They're very ripped up, but they're so comfortable. So if you're like me and you appreciate a bodysuit, but you also want to carry a gun, I don't really know of a way that I'd carry in this outfit if I didn't carry off body in a bag. So that's what I'm gonna show you for this outfit right here. I'm gonna link a video up here that I would like for you to watch if you're interested in carrying in a bag and you don't really know the ins and outs. I show you how fast it is to draw from a bag, but I also talk a lot about the do's and don'ts of carrying in a bag, like always making sure it's on your body and you can't leave it anywhere, blah, blah, blah. So check that out here. It's also something I talk about in my Armed and Confident Academy. Um, but it's really important to know the safety aspects behind carrying in a bag because a lot of people will say never carry in a bag but I know that sometimes it works. Anyway, check that video out that I just linked there if you're interested in carrying in a bag or thinking about doing it. I recently reviewed this bag by UUB Gear called the U Koala Bag and I've been using this a lot. Um, it can be worn three different ways. One way is around your waist like this one way is as a backpack and the way I've been wearing it the most is as a crossbody bag. So if you've seen my other videos where I go over off body carry, carrying in a bag, I have a lot of thoughts on it. I carry in a bag sometimes. <laughs> so I'm not one of those people that's like never carry in a bag because I live in the real world and I like to carry a gun. And sometimes when I dress a certain way, I can't carry one on my body. So I'd rather have one than not have one at all. So this has the leg strap, which I really like because it's just on your body more securely than just a crossbody bag. I definitely recommend a crossbody bag if you're gonna carry in a bag. It's just more secure than over your shoulder or in the crook of your arm. So I've been using this bag quite a bit. I have my wallet, my stuff in here, I love it. And then I just take my shield and it goes in the very back pocket, which closes with a magnet and has a holster that's Velcroed in there. So that's closed now. The magnet's closed. If I need to get to it, I can just stick my hand in. And the strap keeps it from coming up with my draw. So I can draw the gun out and the strap is what's keeping it down as I pull the gun up. This is a great solution for walking around town. It's comfortable, it's secure. Your gun is still right here and accessible. You can draw with one hand. It's just awesome. I love this bag. Um, I'm gonna link these below. I have a discount for these as well. If you want to get one, make sure you check out their sizing guide and their like user guide because they make so many different models and sizes. So I have the Phoenix here, but this comes in a couple different sizes. So just make sure you're getting the right size. If you're confused, contact their customer service and they should help you figure out which one is right for you. But for bodysuits, a bag like this is a must for me because I love wearing bodysuits but I also love carrying a gun, and where else would you put it, you know? No matter how you carry, just make sure you're practicing your draw a lot, because it's not gonna matter if you have your gun on you if you can't get to it. Let's move on to the next outfit. This next outfit is definitely more casual, more workout friendly. I'm wearing my She Equips Herself flowy tank. This is actually very soft. This is in my merch store if you guys are interested. But it's just a nice flowy tank top that comes in a lot of colors. I really like this because of the space it leaves here so I can conceal my gun. And I'm gonna show you how I do that in this shirt with these pants. So these pants aren't just any old leggings. These are actually by Alexo Athletica, which makes concealed carry clothing. So these leggings have holster pockets built into the waistband. This is very compressive which I actually like. And these also have pockets down the side, which I love. I can stick my phone in here, my pepper spray, anything I want, and have my gun right here. So I'm gonna show you how I do that right now. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for these leggings, but I think they're well worth the money. I wear these all the time, um, just because they're so easy to throw on and then throw a shirt over. Well, let me show you how it conceals. So first thing you wanna do is get a card. This is just a card, for, like an old used arcade card, so I don't care if I lose this or whatever. But what you wanna do is take some sort of plastic card or a piece of plastic and put it in the front pocket of the holster pocket. So this actually has two pockets. A front pocket and then the pocket behind it is where your gun goes. So I'm gonna put that card in there first 
and that's gonna guard my trigger. So now I take my gun and I put it behind that card. And I wanna really open up that pocket with my fingers when I holster and make sure you're not flagging your fingers on the way in. So I'm gonna be really careful with my muzzle, put it in between my fingers, and then push the gun into the pocket. There it is. You can see how tight it is against my body. So then I just put my shirt over it. Voila, so easy. Great concealment. I can go running in this if I want. I can take my favorite pepper spray and stick it in my pocket. I can take my phone and stick it in the other pocket. I can take my extra magazine and stick it in the other pocket that's up front in case you're a lefty, that's the holster pocket for you. But I can put my extra magazine in there. And there you go. So easy and comfortable, and they work with a lot of different shirts and a lot of different outfits. I'm actually really pleased with the way this shirt drapes over it and conceals. So definitely check out their leggings. They have a lot of different kinds. These are just their basic 7 8 length leggings, so they don't go all the way down, but they go like down to my ankle. I'm pretty short. I'm five foot two, like I mentioned, so just keep that in mind. If you're taller, these are gonna hit higher on you. I love the way the grip sticks out of these leggings where I can get my whole hand wrapped around the grip and get a solid step one on there when I go to draw my gun. All right, next we've got just jean shorts and a crop top. Crop tops can be tricky because you can't really conceal on your waist because everything's gonna show because you're wearing a crop top. It doesn't go down far enough to conceal on your waist. So we have to find a different solution. Either you'd carry in a bag or if you don't want to carry in a bag, you can get what I'm wearing, which I'll show you right now. <laughs> All right, I've reviewed this holster before, so I'm gonna link that video above so you can get like a full review of it, but I'm wearing the Dean Adams bra holster. It's a sports bra that has a holster right in here. So you get your gun out like that. This is the Glock. My shield is a tad big to carry this way. So if I carry in this sports bra, I, I either have to carry the Ruger or this Glock 42. This does have a trigger guard. So in this pocket, there's a piece of plastic here. You can kind of see it. It's shaped like the pocket. It's kind of like a triangle. And that protects your trigger. So when the gun goes in the pocket, we holster slowly. There's a big piece of plastic inside that pocket that doesn't come out. And that's what's guarding your trigger. So then you just draw it out at a kind of a diagonal angle. And this is pretty comfortable. It's actually a really good bra, very supportive. If you're wearing a crop top that's baggy like this, no one's gonna know that you have a gun down there, trust me. That's just one solution for crop tops. The only other thing I can think of is a fanny pack or a crossbody bag. I really hope you guys liked this video and that it inspired you as you search for different outfits this spring and how to carry in them. I know it can be a challenge. Always make sure you're practicing your draw out of whatever holsters you choose to carry because it's really important that you be able to get to your gun if you ever need to. I'm gonna have all these products linked below. I'll also try to link the clothing items that I wore in case you guys wanna check them out. Keep in mind that our bodies are all different. I'm just showing you guys what works for me and how I figure out what works for me so that you can figure out what works with your body type. Make sure to take advantage of my sale that's gonna be going on for the entire month of April to get $100 off my Armed and Confident Academy. I hope that if it's something that's right for you that you're able to take advantage of this sale. There's a lot that's included with it, so please make sure to check that out. If you're gonna watch another video of mine after this, you might as well subscribe, so just hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, bye.